So, <laughs> okay, so my name's Jose, and um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the important the importance of play therapy to the development of children. And yeah, so. No. Oh, that's just that one? And then, okay, yeah. So this is just a video to give you an idea of what it is. Hi. Thinking why? Sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you feel better. In play therapy, you will come to a place that's for kids. Be a grown up who will be your play therapist. And with your play therapist, you will go to a room with lots of toys. In the playroom, you can play with your toys in lots of the ways you like. Your play therapist is there with you to play or to talk. It's up to you. We call your time in the playroom special playtime. I think play therapy makes you feel better because you get to play. You get to be with someone who cares about you, and you get to choose what to do. Sometimes playing will be fun, sometimes it will be serious, but you get to decide. I think. So the per the reason I want to talk to you guys today is to like just show how um this like new type of therapy like it's been out there, but it hasn't been really used by a lot of people. So I want to show the benefits of it and how it's. It's easier. It's an easier way for children to express express how their their feelings in this way than a typical, you know, therapist manner when you're just in a room, a solitary room with them, and you just have to talk to them just out of nowhere. So I found this quote and I really liked it. It's called. Uh, it's by Ofred Donaldson. It says, "Children learn as they play, but most importantly, in play, children learn how to learn." So. Well, I took it as, like, we all remember being in the playground when we were younger and, like, finding friends to play with. And, like, from there you learn, like, uh, you, like, learn, like, social, like, social um, interactions. Like, you learned how to share. You learned how to do things. So in play therapy, it helps with children with internalizing external illnesses. So, like, if they have autism, if they come from a behavioral background or, like, um, or if they've been, like, abused or something, it's a way for them to learn without knowing that they're learning these things, but also having someone to help them go through what they're doing. So like, so like, so playing, they help like, cause you know, some illnesses, like you don't have those immediate like thoughts of like, oh, I need to share and everything. So what play therapy does, it helps you do that. But while you're doing that, your therapist is, always, is also talking to you, helping you express your emotions in a more clear way and understanding way. So this, this is a medium play theory. It refers to a method of psychotherapy with children in which a therapist uses a child's fantasies and the symbolic meaning of his or her play as a medium for understanding and communication with the child. So basically, it's so like it's basically taking your favorite thing and then using it to their advantage to get through to you. So basically, so if I were to go, my therapy would be music. So I would want to listen to music while also talking to someone. Or having someone listen to me while I express my feelings. So it's just in that way. And I've, um, yeah. And like, um, and then another type of therapy that I'm going to be talking about in my thesis is sand therapy. Sand therapy, yeah. So sand therapy, sand play therapy establishes a safe and protective space where the complexities of the inner world are explored and integrated into the site for emotional healing clients place miniature figures in a small sandbox to express confusing feelings and inner expressions. So I have a story at the end, but I'm going to introduce it right now. I have a cousin. He was um, diagnosed when he was three. So when he was younger, this was one of the therapies they used for him to help him, like, at the beginning, because he really couldn't show any, like, communication with anyone. So they used this as a way for him to express his feelings and emotions. And, yeah. And then there's also art therapy, which is a form of expressive therapy, which is basically you draw, color, whatever you want, and whatever feelings you're feeling at that time, and your ther your therapist takes it as a way of you trying to communicate with them. So, yeah. 
and now I'm just gonna talk about like so from my um from my um mentor um Erica Bade, I asked her a lot of questions on like how long it takes for a child to like you know because when you like to, to start communicating with them and she told me it takes like because it's like a thing that's like you can't just give them a specific time it takes weeks even months for them to start like actually communicating with you so I have my cousin, he was like diagnosed with autism when he was three because they noticed that he couldn't communicate and he would like, he would do stuff with his hands, like he would shake a lot. So when they diagnosed him, the doctor um, recommended play therapy. So what he started doing is he started going to play, three, play therapy three times a week. And he kept doing that. So he's been doing that since he was three. So we used to go to the autism walk to support him and everything. So since the age of three, he's like nine now. So now he's he used to have the help classes, but now since doing this, he's not there anymore. He's in actual classes now with the regular kids, and he's he's learned through play therapy how not to like how how to communicate and have those social capabilities that he didn't have before when he was younger. So and then I took from all my research that. This really helped the children, like with his disease and with, yeah, with his illnesses, and children with behavioral backgrounds and who have been like through through issues like in the past, like from being abused or having family issues, like um, children of separation. So it just helped that it worked more with younger um, younger kids. So I just wanted to like show how this really helps and like. And it's like, it's just, I found this because, like, I've always been, this is what I want to do when I get older. I want to do this. So it's just my way of, like, 